This video will show you how to install and configure Virtual Radar Client, or more commonly known as VRC, for use as an observer and tower controller on the VATSIM network. Installation of VRC is very simple and the download link is available in this Moodle section. Please just click next to progress through the installer and don't change any of the settings. Once you have installed VRC, open it up. You will see the area where your session profiles are displayed. In a moment, I'll show you how to save session profiles for future use. Select the default option and click OK. Close the controllers and chat box that opens automatically. Click File, Open Sector. Open the VATPAC Sector Files folder and select the Victorian TMA sector file vic underscore tma dot sierra charlie tango 2 click open next we'll go through the settings click radar mode and set it to tower click color profile and set it to taa ts tats now go back to settings, click general and select your Elias and POF files. These files in my case have been placed in the VRC folder in program files. Here's my Elias and here's my POF. Now I'll go over to hotkeys and we'll set the aircraft select key and push to talk key. Click in the box and a good one for the aircraft select key is the tilde key, the one above the tab and to the left of your one. The controller select key is up to your preference, and the push to talk key is good to be a control key. It doesn't matter which one it is. Set your visibility range maximum. That'll be 300 nautical miles for an observer, 50 nautical miles for a tower controller and 20 nautical miles for a ground or delivery controller. In this case we'll use 300 because we're observing. Set your arrival and departure fields. In most cases these are the same. Let's put Yankee Mike Mike Lima for this example. This stands for Melbourne. The transition altitude must be set according to your location. In Australia, this is 10,000 feet. Anything under data tags, flight strips, conflict alerts and button bar can be set to your preferences. Now let's click apply and OK. Always set your visibility center by using the .vis command Victor India Sierra. In this video We'll use .viz, Yankee Mike Mike Lima, but you can enter any airport ICAO code, NAVAID, or FIX after the .viz command to create a visibility center. Hit enter. You will see that our visibility center has been set over Melbourne Airport. You can set up your ATIS using the ATIS Maker window. A detailed video on how to set up your ATIS is available in the ATIS section of the Moodle Tower Rating course. Click on Settings. You don't have to do anything with this sounds for now, but click on Audio Devices. From here, you can select your microphone input device, headset output device, speaker output device, and also select levels and if you want VHF simulation. I'm going to select my microphone and my headset. Click apply and OK. Underneath the view tab you can select your personal preferences to view certain elements on your screen. They may be fixes, NDBs or more. Get into the habit of always having static text and low boundaries displayed. It helps you to identify important aspects of the airspace around you for future reference. 
as an approach controller and an en route controller. Now, I'm going to talk to you about the key features of the interface and the items in the tools menu. The scratchpad seen here allows you to talk to aircraft via text and also talk in the controller ATC channel. You cannot private message other controllers or aircraft from this chat. The box to the left here is the selected aircraft. It will display the call sign of the current aircraft that you have selected. Now, let's connect to the VATSIM network as an observer. Click File, Connect. Type your call sign, which will be most likely your first name, underscore OBS, your real name, your facility and rating should stay as observer, your certificate ID, and your password. Select the most appropriate server for your location and click connect. Let's use the .viz command that we learned earlier. Type it and hit enter. A visibility center is now set at Melbourne and you can see the aircraft currently connected to VATSIM. Now let's open up a controller list. The controller list displays the nearby controllers and allows you to communicate with them. It also shows observers as you can see here. If you double click on their name, then you can start private messaging with them. Next, the aircraft list. The arrivals and departures list will display aircraft according to your arrivals and departures that have been set in your general settings. At this time now, there are no arrivals and departures for Melbourne Airport. The weather list displays the weather for certain airports. But a good way to use weather when you're a tower controller is by either pressing decimal QD or by pressing F2. And then you can type the ICAO code. Notice the box opens up here with the current weather for Melbourne. The winds 180 degrees at 10 knots and the QNH is 1019. If you'd like a more detailed view, just click on that box and you'll see the full meta click on it again for it to disappear. Now you can see that the weather has updated and it's flashing at us. To verify that we have noticed this, we click on the box again. The wind's now 160 at 11 knots. The flight strip bay. The flight strip bay allows you to organize your flight strips. More information on flight strips is available in the Moodle Tower Rating course. A flight strip is essentially a summary of the flight plan of an aircraft. They are displayed in different colours depending on their flight rules, be that IFR or VFR, and their departure or arrival status. You can also display separators in your flight strip bay to help you organise the strips. To do this, type decimal Sierra Ercapapa in the scratch pad, followed by whatever you want the separator to be called. In this example, let's create separators for clearance and taxi. Dot Sierra Ercapapa clearance dot Sierra Kipapa taxi now we can drag flight strips around to keep track of what service the aircraft is expecting you can drag them underneath and in between at about this time you may wish to save this profile go to file save session profile as and enter the name Next time you start VIC, you'll be able to open this profile and return to the exact settings that you have now. Click OK. Now let's set up the frequencies. Click on the box labelled Set Primary Frequency. You can also access this by clicking Tools and Comms Panel. Click one of the empty name boxes to extend the dialog and enter the details for the frequency. In this example, we'll use the following details to set up voice communications for Melbourne Tower. As you can see, the position name is Mike Lima-Tango Whiskey Romeo. 
the frequency is 120.500. The voice server is RomeoWhiskey1.vatpack.org. And the voice channel is MyClima underscore Tango Whiskey Romeo. Please refer to the airspace section of the main VATPAC website for a complete listing of positions and frequencies. Save the changes and select the newly created frequency as primary. This will now be visible to all others on the network. Please remember to choose a device for voice comms to be heard, be that headset or speaker. I'll leave it as headset for now. And now you can see that I'm currently on 120.5. And finally, if VRC ever tells you that servers cannot be found when you've just started it, wait three to four minutes and start it again. There is no fix for this at this time. If you have any other questions, please visit the VATPAC forums, or do not hesitate to ask a mentor while connected to the VATSIM network. Mentors are easily identifiable with a forward slash M next to their name. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that it will help you to understand the key features of VRC and get set up for observing or controlling for the first time.